Well, I've always wanted to fly, but I got into racing cars instead, and then I didn't start flying until I was in my 40s. And uh, started in gliders, and uh, I've always wanted to fly a jet since I was six years old, but was just flying propeller-driven planes until the subsonics came out. It's, it's the first experimental amateur built, customer plane. There were three others that were customers, but they were exhibition categories, and actually those owners had ANPs build them for them. When people go to build an airplane, and I, at least at first, was not much different than this, we thought when you buy a kit, you, it's like an erector set, you just put it together. And when you read the rules of the EAA, when it says 51%, it says 51% of all the operations that have to be done. So there's fabrication and, and bending and all kinds of things, and it becomes a much more complex project than we thought. And so the thing I learned, had to learn most was patience. You know, you're not gonna get this done tomorrow, you just have to pace yourself. And you all, everybody hears this, you know, pace yourself and spend a little time each day. I've built race cars, but never an airplane. This is the first airplane I ever built. Anytime I had a question about how to do a certain thing, I'd go to the Hints for Home Builders and find the perfect answer to the question. And as well, there are uh, workshops. I took two workshops, one on uh, aluminum fabrication and another one on avionics and electronics. And they were incredibly helpful. Uh, it took exactly uh, two years and three months from the day it was delivered to the day of its first flight. And about 1,600 plus hours to do it. So I was averaging about 25 hours a week. Uh, the first flight, uh, unlike what most people thought, that you would just get in the plane and take off, I did low speed taxi tests and then high-speed taxi test. And so when the first flight came, I was excited, but I was confident. You know, I wasn't, it wasn't a fear factor, it was an anticipation factor. So uh, there have been a couple that have flown before me and Bob Carlton, who's, like I said, flying in the aerobatics plane, were very helpful in letting me know what the potential uh, speeds would be. You know, I rolled down the runway and, and lifted off, and it was just an exhilarating feeling to feel that plane kind of cut through the air. It's, it's a joy. It's just, it's just a wonderful airplane. The, the wing on it is uh, a very simple airfoil, and so uh, part of the training to fly the airplane is that you go to come here to Oshkosh to the factory and fly one of their two-seat propeller planes in slow flight and turns and stalls and landings because the, the uh, handling characteristics of the wing are exactly the same. It's a very docile airplane. For anyone that would want to build one of these, what I would say is do it. Just do it. You can do it. If I can do it, I never build an airplane. And, uh, and this one turned out pretty well. I'm honored to be here and have my, my, little, my little jet here with me. This is, this is like the holy grail, man. This is, this is it. <laughs> <laughs>